Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to a Chart Nerd technical analysis video. Today, we will be discussing Telcoin. The ticker is TEL against USDT on the weekly time frame. So we've been monitoring this ascending level of support that Telcoin's been holding since October of 23. Uh, when it actually bounced off of this trend line and created this level of support, we had a rally that was around a 2x. The next point of contact back on this trend line in January of this year was a 4x. Uh, I monitored just before looking at the chart here. And right now we have come back down for a third point of contact on this ascending support. So is this indicating that we are about to push up and have an even larger move here and this correction is over and the lows are potentially in for Telcoin? Well, other than just looking at trend line and contacts support what i've sort of had a look at and why i think this is potentially our low right now to validate of course we just have to hold 0.0013 which this week was our local low that we put in on monday or tuesday so we do need to hold this level to validate this theory and equally hold this ascending, ascending level of support but based off the previous two contact points and the rallies that they've had is this a third point of contact where we've come back for an even larger correction remember the larger wave that you pull back in the larger the spring the larger the breakout exactly like here we had a very impulsive move very corrective but it led to an even more impulsive and from this even more impulsive we've had an even more corrective move and the structure is still bullish right now and this is why i say i'm not macro i, I can't be bearish on telcoin because we've got a low we've had a high we come back for a higher low on this ascending support and then we came up and put a higher high right now we've come back for an even higher low on this ascending support once again all we need to do to validate that this was a correct theory is take out this high this local high at 0 0.005 and each time we have come back down to this in the previous uh, in the past we have taken out the previous high so to validate this theory we do need to take this high out but why i think this correction is in and these are potentially the lows for telcoin right now is one we've had a five wave corrective move for telcoin back down to this ascending level of support two we had a descending triangle on our heads that we broke down from and I've actually met the technical target. So this descending triangle started forming back here at our current highs on the 11th of March. And what occurred is we had this high, we came back down to a key level of support, we rallied up into this descending resistance and equally put a lower high in before coming back down and losing this support level that was held in April. So because we was coiled up in this descending triangle, we eventually lost that support ran shy of resistance and confirmed the downtrend now this descending triangle had a technical target so the technical target for the breakdown of this descending triangle goes from the high and where this triangle started back down to the key level of support it was holding before it lost it right and what we do is we get the triangle target and we drag it down from where we lost support which was right here on the 10th of june and what you'll notice is we have ran just shy and actually wicked further then our technical target, which was at 0 0.001392. And we actually came down to 0 0.001355. So for me, it looks like our technical target has been met from this descending triangle breakdown. We have ran just past the technical target. And I think if we close above it, then this is the confirmation. So right now, what I believe we need to see is on this ascending support and from this descending triangle breakdown target that we've actually now met we need to see some sort of base build up along this ascending support that we've been holding since october of 23 so right now i think we need to see some sort of double bottom or some sort of structure along this trend line for the next couple of months or couple of weeks before we get the breakout and retest these previous highs that we've um, been fit falling from so another key thing to look at uh, that isn't too bullish for Telcoin right now that we do need to keep our eyes on are these EMAs. Because whilst we was in this descending triangle, we also started losing our EMAs, right? We've got the 20 and the 55. And what we've created on our heads is a death cross. This isn't a good sign. And right now we've fallen away from these EMAs. So I think we could potentially start to rally back up into these EMAs as they come down. And this is where over the next couple weeks, we, I could expect to pull back into September before breaking out. Because what's, what tends to happen is when you create this death cross and you lose these EMAs and you find a key level of support, which is where we're at right now, you do tend to see relief back up into the EMAs. But on the first point of contact, it is 
relatively unlikely that you break through. Let's take, for example, back here. When we lost this weekly 20 back in December of 23, we came down to our key ascending support. We had another point of contact here. We rallied up to the 20 EMA, this yellow line. But as we rallied up to the 20 from our support level, we had to pull back first a further 18% before going for the breakout. So if we was to see relief right now up to these EMAs, Potentially, I think if we came up to this yellow, I would expect an 18% correction to a potential higher low somewhere along the line. So as long as we start building some sort of formation here under these EMAs, come up to these EMAs potentially, sorry, from this low, start looking to retrace back up to these EMAs as they're coming down on our heads. And at that point, pull back for a higher level of support and then look to go and start breaking above them to, to confirm that this was the low. So it's all about building a, struct a structural foundational base along this level of support over the next couple of weeks and starting to get back above this death cross and negating the fact that we could potentially be in a larger downtrend. So the key thing to take away from this video is we're bouncing off of key levels of support right now. And the previous two times that this has occurred in the past, we saw a two and a four X move. Are we about to see something similar here? But we do have the resistance on our heads above us at, on these weekly EMAs, the 20 and 55. We do need to see those broken. And as I said, on the first point of contact, it's very, normally very hard to start getting back above them. It'd be nice to see some sort of higher low form before breaking out later into 2024 to lead into a bullish 2025. Overall things to take away, as I said, five wave correction looks to be complete here. Where we've had this five wave move down for Telcoin, back down to key ascending support, expecting relief over the next couple of weeks up to these EMAs, come back for a retest potentially, and then go for the break macro. I hope you enjoyed the content, guys, from Chartner TA. Take care. Peace out.